and a half ago didn't even come close to the Norwegian lad's initial success, but rather than fall victim to the sophomore jinx of the one-hit wonder syndrome, AHA has returned with their third effort, Stay On These Roads. The title track has already gone top five in the UK. I give you Paul, Morton and Mags from AHA in an interview done in Los Angeles. We've always said what we want to do, but we get more freedom as we go along. I mean, we get more control. We get more control money, but I mean... More power. Power is freedom, right? Well, you know, it's sort of a funny funny question so because it doesn't involve the beginning of it uh, you start and for two or three years you you struggle through it nobody believes what you in what you're doing so you, you have to prove yourself you're not doing the safe thing at all you you're doing a, you're taking a risk somehow but you believe in it yourself and and eventually you suddenly end up being a, a very commercial <laughs> at the point when you were actually doing this or, or making the what turned out as the, the commercial product or the the selling product it was a risk to take. It was, it was fun to do it and, and uh, sort of inspiring to do it. Yeah. And and it, it it may not be that anymore once it's become a. Yeah. You, know, you want to something else. And you can <laughs> virtually do anything you want, you know, because you have achieved a certain level of success. There's always going to be a certain amount of airplay on the radio so people will always hear your new product which means again you know whatever you put out is going to be noticed yeah. you're not going to be drowned yeah and that's a good feeling because that you know yeah people can keep up with you that way you can keep up with the way you develop and the way your music develops Films is, is that it's a bit too obvious. You know, it's the obvious thing to Doesn't do. Matter. But it is. It's still interesting as well. So somehow. We I mean, all, all, so, all sorts of creative outlets are sort of interrelated anyway. So you know, there's plenty of things you want to do outside of music. Yeah. Uh, but it's really hard to get the time. Producing, we sort of we like to get more into producing ourselves. Definitely. Start off with. Paul and Max, I know. I mean, you take it from me. <laughs> they will be producing a lot. Other bands. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that too, maybe that too, but definitely yeah, this band. But it... You know. But what? But what? <laughs> That's not to say that we won't be collaborating with other producers now and then, but you do what you want to do. All our individual efforts go into a whole, you know, everything mm. we do... We shouldn't, anyway, the band should be big enough to encompass so everything we do individually as well. What about hobbies? I don't know, I personally, at the moment, Photography is my big passion, sort of hobby-wise. You cheat. <laughs> well, I guess it's all of us. It's all of us. That's because we all we all used to like to, to draw and paint before we uh, became successful. Now we don't have time. So now we it's quicker to take a picture. And they turn out better. <laughs> oh yeah, we're all here with our toes. Yeah. Yeah. Any time off, we go to the camera shop and buy too much equipment. By the way, stay on these roads. AHA's new album will be in the stores next month. All right, still to come, the Zen 